Are you experiencing bad prints over time? Are you having issues with stringing on your models? Even though that you're using the same settings and the same filament and same printer? Well, that could be due to moisture in your filament, or at least in a change of level of water in your, or in your filaments. So usually when you buy new filaments, you get it in a vacuum sealed bag and also has one of these, the silica gel, to keep any moisture left in the packaging process out of the filaments. Uh, but as soon as you open it up, the room ambient moisture level will start to be attracted to the filament. So the filament will actually absorb over time, depending on filaments, some of the moisture in your environment. Usually that's not enough to ruin your day, but uh, it can be a tricky scenario when you have um, a degrading filament over time. So we're talking really small volumes of water, of course, um, but I want to try to understand what happens and do some experiments, see if we can dry filaments, see the difference between dried filaments and water filaments and uh, just control filaments. So come along for a few experiments. So I'm now going to do a few things. First off, I'm going to test the moisture absorption of a different uh, common materials and different types of filaments like PLA, ABS and so on. You should see a list somewhere here where you see the filaments I will be testing. After that, I will do some extrusion with a really saturated filament that has a lot of water and a control sample that doesn't have any water at all, or at least I've dried it as much as possible. And after that, I'll also do a few prints where I have a dry filament, I print the model with the same settings, same machine, and then I, I saturate that water overnight inside of a water, actually down in the water, and then print another one and see what the difference is. So we can have some comparison A to B within the same settings, the same machine and everything like that. So uh, let's start off with the first experiment. So for the first experiment, we want to see how these swell up. So we cut a lot of samples in a specific length of uh, each filament and we then tag them and measure them according to a special technique and we then check everything off and fill in the data and as you can see there's quite a lot of samples which is quite interesting so all of the samples are then being controlled dried so they're dried at 50 degrees and we then take out all the samples and it's time to divide them into their separate testing environments First off, we take the control samples back into the dryer and make sure that they are dried. We then take the water samples and put them in water. Shit, this isn't very scientific. No, we're actually putting them in a controlled environment. I'm just fooling around. And the last samples are left in the room with a standard uh, AC that's actually drying the air a little bit. After that, it's time to measure all the data points from different sets. And uh, yeah, that's a lot of data, as you can see here. So it's quite interesting, and uh, I'll link to the, uh, all the information below. But what we can tell from this is a few things. For example, nylon expands quite a lot, but um, we had an ABS expanding a lot. So that's quite interesting. All right, so for the second experiment, we will try to extrude some filaments and see if we can see a difference between really dry filaments and really moist filaments. So I've been soaking these ones in water and these ones has been dried just to make sure if we can see anything. I will be using a Replicator 2 printer, nothing special at all. I just want to extrude the filament. I'm not going to print anything with this one yet. And uh, hopefully towards this ba uh, black background with some lighting, we should be able to see if there is some extra moist, some zizzling going on or just something in particular. the last experiment we really want to see how these kind of effects any prints. So I'm using all the same settings from uh, Simplify 3D and printing to duplicate samples. So I have one moist ABS and one dry ABS and you should be able to see the results quite clearly.
So that concludes one of my longest videos, or at least longest production videos. I hope that you take this data and these results that you see with a little bit of a grain of salt, or whatever it's called in English, meaning that it's not scientifically proven. I mean, I'm trying to do as good as I can, but um, it's really a small sample size. The repetition is kind of like that. So I think that the, the method and technique I used are really good, or at least good enough to see you, uh, to give you like a um, direction on where the data is actually going. So when you look at the data, which you can do in the on my website in the link below, uh, you should be able to get a, a base value or a better understanding on how does uh, moisture affect some of the brands or some of the filament types that I tested. What's really interesting is how, for example, different brands of ABS can absorb much more and um, how some of the filaments that were actually looking pretty good. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Um, if you did, I'm really happy for that. If you didn't, if you have any arguments with my techniques, please leave me a comment down below and I'll try to improve next time. And um, hopefully you learned something. Make sure that you share, like, and give this video to anyone that's arguing with you. No, PLA doesn't absorb any moisture at all. Send this video to them. So you have a good night and we'll see you in the next video.